So, can our ape cousins pass this test? A keeper places a mark on a female orangutan. Next, they put her in front of a mirror. She has seen her reflection before, but this time she notices that something has changed. Her hand goes to the mark. All the great apes, gorillas, orangutans, chimps and bonobos can pass the mark test by a certain age. But we don't recognize just ourselves, we recognize other people too. Is this what separates us from the apes? At the Primate Research Institute in Japan, a chimp takes a voice recognition test. She's played a one second clip of a voice. She's then shown two photographs and has to identify the correct image from just hearing that short sound bite. First, she hears an ape sound, she recognizes the sound instantly and selects the right ape. Now she hears a human voice. She sees an ape and a human face and picks the human face. She seems to recognize the difference between ape and human sounds. Finally, she hears another human voice. But this time, she's shown two human faces. She selects the correct picture. From hearing just that one second clip, she can distinguish not just different ape voices, but different human voices too. This chimp has an 80% success rate for the test. So, what differences have we uncovered so far? We've tested both humans and apes and found that they recognize themselves. Both are self-aware. So far, there is little difference. But why is it so important for apes to be self-aware? Scientists need to understand how apes relate to each other. Most great apes live in large groups. They can identify every face in their group. They know who to avoid and who to make alliances with. But in humans, group awareness is a stepping stone to something far more important. Maybe our most amazing feature, kindness. So far, we've found little difference between ourselves and our closest relatives, the great apes. What is it that makes us human? We recognize ourselves in a mirror. So do apes. We both recognize others and can distinguish between friend and enemy. But are apes socially connected like humans? Are they capable of kindness? A bonobo lies injured. He's hurt his arm in a fight and is in pain. The others appear to sympathize. It's as if they understand that he's feeling pain. Astonishingly, apes show acts of caring even outside their group. We tend to think of gorillas as violent and dangerous. Wrong. A zoo near Chicago. A three-year-old boy falls 20 feet into an enclosure. The fall knocks him unconscious. All around him, gorillas weighing up to 180 kilograms. Upper hose reel, upper hose reel! But then, a female gorilla picks him up and cradles him in her arms as if he were one of her own. Oh, got her. She then gently places the boy down in front of her zookeeper's door. It's a touching, almost human moment. 
but we can't know the gorilla's true motives. To find that secret ingredient that makes us human, we need to conduct more experiments. Leipzig, Germany. Researchers here use one of the oldest confidence tricks in the world to test humans against apes. It's called the Three Cups Test. Scientists believe that spatial awareness helps us track our enemies and find food. The Three Cups Test measures that ability. Put a toy under one cup and swap it with another. Which cup is the toy under? Good. I'm going with mine. Yes. Oh, kein Hund. Da is This two and a half year old gets it right some of the time, but it's hit and miss. That's typical of children at this age. Now let's see how the apes do. Children are interested in toys. For chimps, it's food. She follows the object with no problem. Okay, Sandra. Another banana. Look here. Sandra. The conclusion? Apes are as good or better than two-year-old children at tracking movement. Very good. Perhaps very young children don't need to be aware of the possible dangers surrounding them because they rely on their parents for protection. Apes are much more vulnerable. They are at risk from the moment of birth. In a fast-moving forest, they need to keep track of everything around them, food and enemies. But within a few years, children catch up with the apes and can do this test. So we still haven't found that secret ingredient that separates us from the apes. Many scientists believe one of the reasons humans are so successful is our ability to solve problems. We've found ways to keep warm in cold climates. We devised weapons to hunt animals bigger and stronger than ourselves. Do we have an exclusive on innovation? At the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany, an experiment monitors how quickly apes and children can solve a particular problem. The challenge is to get this peanut floating on water out of the tube. The tube is too narrow for the children's hands, but the researcher tells them they can use anything in the room to help them get the peanut. This four-year-old is baffled. He's looking directly at the solution, but he doesn't realize it. After four minutes, he loses interest. A six-year-old boy is more determined. He takes a physical approach to tackling the problem. But it doesn't help. Frustration sets in. After several unsuccessful attempts, his time is up. 